What's up guys and welcome me back. I've been gone a while. Been busy. Uh, a lot of bigger stuff happening at work so I kind of worked a little some hours and anyways we're back. Y'all don't care about my day job. So some things we talked about is I want to clean up this interior. Now how I'm going to do that is I'm going to fix where how my uh, hydro is. Now what I did it was kind of a rush job and I wish I didn't do it so take your time and don't be like me we're gonna tear this out the reservoir for it sits actually right here and we're gonna move it back now um, I got some different sizes here um, now we'll I'll show you when we get there so let's get the uh, interior out and then we'll kind of I'll show you what I'm doing and how I'm gonna do it and hopefully it works I again this is untested I know that's how I want to do it and where I want to put it so we'll get there when we get there and hopefully it works otherwise we gotta buy some more pieces so let's get her apart come on in the cup And we get that up. There we go. Pull that old jobby I got going on out. And now the other side. Oh, that one's already okay. So I kind of threw this thing together kind of glued in here yeah it's a handmade uh, shift knob and uh, I'll probably do a video on how to make one of these these work really nice okay Backs off, it's off. Now like an idiot, I glued this all in, but I plan on getting all new. So, yeah, come on. All right, we gotta pry, boys. And yes, this is all going to be new, so don't worry about that. Okay, so we got this mess out here. Clean it up a whole lot, and we definitely need to do that. But I'm going to take this reservoir that sits here, and I'm going to move it back here. That way... Um, oh, there's so much money back there. Excuse me, sorry. That way, um, this stuff all isn't in the way here, and I can replace all this without it looking so shoddy. So, all right, let's unhook that, and let's hopefully make it work. <laughs> all right, so. I'm hoping this didn't fail miserably right here. Um, but I got the reservoir or the master off. Again, this is a pass through style. Now I want to mount it somewhere back here and use this here threaded rod. Go through here. I can get in there and show you guys.
threaded rod in here that way this works like that but you can see where I'm gonna want it my hand brakes in the way so I either have to go through the whole mess of moving all of this maybe doing a bend in it maybe in the rod that makes sense actually it makes a lot more sense do a bend in the rod and it kind of come over and back it's in here actually you know what I'm gonna give that a shot let's give the rod a bend alright boys it's sitting back where it was we gave it a shot just trying to bend it we broke it I'd really like to move it but I don't really know how to make it work so if you guys got any ideas, hit it down below. But like I said, we're really going to try to clean up this interior. Um, if I went without a handbrake, this would work really nice. I can just use the rod, move the reservoir back, and mount it on the tunnel back here. Cut a hole in the bottom of the uh, uh, compartment, center console, and that's where the reservoir would sit. So I'm still trying to figure out the best way to go about this. I set it back there for now. Golly, this dash looks bad. <laughs> garbage! Garbage! This shifter, though, is really nice. Um, this is a CX Racing, I believe. Short throw. Um, I got from FR Sport. Really nice. All right, now we got to figure out where to go from here. All right, guys, did some looking, and this is going from a how-to video to a, it wasn't really a how-to video. You guys know my video. To a what in the hell? I cut myself. To a what in the hell to do next? So, doing some research. I'm gonna figure. I I don't. I'm not gonna bend that rod because I don't want that rod to bend when I'm pulling the hydro. So I'm gonna. I don't know. I'm gonna keep looking. It might end up back where it was, and that really sucks, but we'll figure something out. It needed to come out anyways, because I want to pull the dash out and do a uh, flock it, get rid of that leather shit look, and get a new centerpiece here. That one I made is kind of ick. So, all right, we're going to leave this here. Shorter video today, but we're going to leave it here. Um... We're going to do some more research. Let me know down below if you've got an idea of what I can do. Um, if this is just going to how bleh, if this is just going to how it's have, going to have to sit and look. Man, this is grinding my gears. I'm really thinking here and I don't quite know what to do. And I wish I did. Huh. Well, I don't know. Maybe I just take everything out, get rid of the, cause I really want to. I want really want to maintain that handbrake, just cause I want to drive it on the street. But ah, so many decisions. Do I get rid of it? Just make it a full blown race car and screw it? <sighs> Do I keep it and drive it on the street? Cause I really like that. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do, is keep it. I I don't I, I really like to move it, clean it up a little bit. But if the interior being a little shoddy, as shoddy, I don't know, as good as it can be, I guess, is what I have to do to be able to drive it on the street. I guess that's what I'm going to have to do. I don't know. I'm really racking my brain. Again, let me know if you guys got thoughts. Let me know down below what you've done to yours. Um, hopefully you didn't use this as a how-to video. That mangled mess is all screwed up. Made that kind of nasty anyways. 
I want to get a new one of these, new center console, and I definitely need a new one of those, but I want a factory OE one. So, I don't know. Dash is out, or center console's out. It's what I wanted to do anyways to get everything else out. I really wanted to move that. I didn't really think about the e-brake being in the way. So, we'll do some more thinking on it. I don't know. Screw me, right? Should have been more prepared. Should have looked into it more. It is what it is. You guys follow me. Don't know why, but I love you for doing it. Sorry this didn't really, we didn't do anything. We learned that I'm an idiot. And do your research before trying to attempt something. Man, that really blows. Till next time, like, comment, subscribe. Sorry for the short video. And keep on sliding.